Hello everyone, welcome to Mithun Technologies YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to explain you how to integrate the Sonar Keep server with Jenkins server. So for this one, the prerequisite is first you have you should have Sonar Keep server is running and Jenkins server. So what I did, I have created that uh, virtual machine in the AWS. I have installed the Sonar Keep server and I have installed the Jenkins server. So both are up and running. Okay, see, I can able to access. Okay, and uh, this is my Sonar Keep server. Okay, so whatever that prerequisites we have. So now, if you want to install that Sonar Keep server with your Jenkins, first you have to install the plugin. So in the Jenkins, you have to install the Sonar Keep scanner plugin. Okay. So how to install the plugin? So go to the Jenkins. So once we log in as admin user, you will see that manage Jenkins. So just click on the manage Jenkins. Just scroll down. Here you will see that manage plugins. Just click on manage plugins. And now uh, here you will see that available tab. Just click on the available tab. Here you can search with sonar key scanner. See, you will see that sonar key scanner plugin. This plugin allows an easy installation of sonar key the open source platform for continuous inspection of core quality the sonar key. so the version is 2.9 just select this one and click on install without rest okay so it is installing okay. so once you have installed successfully the sonar key scanner plugin then only you can able to integrate your sonar keep server so now the plugin is installed successfully so now go to the jenkins dashboard okay here you'll see that manage jenkins now we need to integrate just click on the manage jenkins okay and scroll down here you will see that configure system just click on configure system Once you have installed that Sonar Keep Scanner plugin, then just scroll down. Here you will see that Sonar Keep Servers. This option will available. If you don't install that plugin, you are not able to see this option. Okay. And uh, click on Add Sonar Keep. Here you can give that Sonar that Sonar Keep Server instance. Any name you can give. So I am going to give that Sonar Keep Server. Methane Technologies. Sonar Keep Server Methane Technologies. So you can give any name here. And the Sonar Keep, the server you really have to give here. Go here. So take this one till that uh, port number and give it to here. Okay. If you don't give by default, it will be localhost colon 9000. So now you have to give the Sonar Keep authentication token so how to generate the authentication token here so first login into your sonar keep server with the admin credentials okay so the default credentials will be admin and password also admin and click on login so once if you log in as admin user then you will see that administration tab will see that administration tab and uh, click on this one administration tab and go to the security sub tab here you will see that users so here two users are there okay i have created one user called as Mithun technologies and the by default user is admin so you can generate that uh, token for any of the user so we'll go with this one okay so if you want to generate the token here you will see that under tokens column the barcode symbol is there just click on this one 
so it will ask the token name so just give the token name as jenkins integration jenkins integration just click on this one generate so it is generated a token so make sure you have to copy and save it somewhere because once you will click on done you are not able to see this one copy okay and click on done now see it is generated one token earlier it was zero now go to the jenkins here you have to add so just click on add jenkins you can select here instead of username with password you can select the secret text how to select the secret text because we don't have the username password we are using authentication token we have generated a token so select the secret text give that uh, secret means that the token so i have pasted here okay and uh, in the description you can give that sonar cube sonar cube authentication key or sonar cube authentication token okay click on add okay and uh, here you have to select that one so we can select this one sonar cube authentication token okay sometimes it is not going to accept the spaces so after that if you want you can give so if you don't want the spaces leave it okay so i'm giving the sonar cube server url and the name and the token and click on save it now you have successfully integrated the sonar cube server with your jenkins server so now i have created the two jobs my jenkins server for any one of the job i want to execute the sonar cube report analysis okay so if you want to execute the sonar cube report for any of the project so select for which job you want to execute the sonar cube report so i want to select i want to execute the sonar cube report for this one click on this one and if you want to update that job just click on the configure okay just scroll down okay. under post build actions you will see that one drop down add post build action just click on this one okay here you will see that sonar keep analysis with maven just select this one okay so what it is saying this method is deprecated so whatever that uh, we are doing this one is deprecated we have another way also okay so here click on advanced so you have to select that uh, maven version so what i did i have installed this uh, maven 3.6.2 sonar cube uh, maven version okay so i will show you how to install this maven software through jenkins okay so i have given the name as maven 3.6.2 so what are the name you have given when you are installing select that one okay and that uh, palm.xml so if it is a child and parent palm is there you have to mention that one if you don't mention by default it is going to take the palm.xml so this settings are xml just leave it there and click on save it okay so now you can trigger this job automatically the sonar cube report also going to execute so before executing okay so let me delete that projects right now see here two projects are there let me remove that projects So 
no project settled okay now i will go here and i will trigger this job just click on the build now okay so job is executing see that console out okay so clean now see maven is the sonar keep report is executing so it is a maven project okay see sonar keep report is successful now if you go and see in the sonar cube server dashboard click on projects so you will see that the sonar cube report is executed for this particular project so this way we can in integrate sonar cube server and you can execute the sonar cube report for so whatever the jobs you want so the integration only one time we are going to do so whatever the job you want to execute just you can go to that particular job and you can enable that sonar keep server option okay so thank you for watching so if you want more videos please subscribe to mithun technologies devops channel thank you